Proverbs chapter 12, verse 5. The thoughts of the righteous are right, but the counsels or the suggestions of the wicked are deceit. Note, the word of God is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart, and judges them. We mistake if we imagine that thoughts are free. No, they are under the divine cognizance, and therefore under the divine command. We ought to be observers of the thoughts and intents of our own hearts, and to judge of ourselves by them, for they are the firstborn of the soul, that have most of its image undisguised. Right thoughts are a righteous man's best evidences, as nothing more certainly proves a man wicked than wicked contrivances and designs. A good man, or a saint, or righteous man, may have in his mind bad suggestions, but he does not indulge them and harbor them till they are ripened into bad projects and resolutions. It is a man's honor to mean honestly, and to have his thoughts right or correct in order, though a word or action may be misplaced, or mistimed, or at least misinterpreted. But it is a man's shame to lie always at catch, to act with deceit, with trick and design, not only with a long reach, but with an overreach. So if one has a wicked thought, because sometimes that is inevitable and uh, uncontrollable, but sometimes if a wicked thought, or aka temptation, comes through your thoughts, take it captive to the obedience of Christ. There's a difference between you take a, a certain thought captive and you uh, embrace and indulge in that certain thought. If you embrace it, of course you're guilty. If you take it captive, then you are under obedience. Now for verse 6. The words of the wicked are to lie in wait for blood, but the mouth of the upright shall deliver them. So, in the foregoing verse, the previous verse, the thoughts of the wicked and righteous were compared. Hear their words, and those are uh, as the abundance of the heart is. Wicked people speak mischief to their neighbors, and wicked indeed those are whose words are to lie in wait for blood. Their tongues are swords to those that stand in their way, to good men or saints or righteous men whom they hate and persecute. So see an instance in Luke. Uh, Good men or righteous men, saints, speak help to their neighbors. The mouth of the upright is ready to be opened in the cause of those that are oppressed, to plead for them, to witness for them, and so to deliver them, particularly those whom the wicked lie in wait for. And this doesn't just mean towards neighbors, it could also mean towards yourself. A man may sometimes do a very good work with one good word.